Hello, this is Shamim. I am working as a senior web developer in Ikra. I hope you have seen my previous two article we covered uh, in language section. So first article we showed how can we remove the language what we don't need and the second article we showed you adding a new language called Hindi. So this is the third article that I am going to show you why the Hindi in our last tutorial the Hindi value was not showing up because we have not added the Hindi language and it showed a variable. So now in this tutorial I am going to show you how can we add the language file to the corresponding uh, country's language and in this tutorial I am going to show you uh, 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 where the file should be kept and where the file should be kept on respective modules and page. So as usual I am uh, going to show you uh, the tutorial using our page voltage template. So in our previous tutorial we showed uh, adding a new language called Hindi for India. So once we click on the Hindi language we can see the no language showed up just a language variables prints. So why the variable prints we already covered in, our, in my last tutorial that, that these variables did not get the correct Hindi language value to show what, because we have not added the language file yet. So you can see the, the default language uh, variables shows up because it cannot fetch the value of Hindi language. So what we need in this tutorial we will add the language file to the corresponding module and corresponding page so that it brings the correct language or the value based on each variable. So in order to do that we will create a folder and file for Hindi and we will keep those file to the respective directories so that it can brings value corresponding variable value of a corresponding variable. So now we are um, uh, log on to our uh, host server navigation we are navigating to the modules so under your web hosting server you can find the folder called application under application there is a folder called language so this folder basically it, it shows because we are navigating through our test server but for your case under the application there is a directory called language so this directory contains all the language file for you so for English we have one language file but for Hindi we have no language file so now we will download this English to our desktop and we will slowly translate we will download the entire folder of English because English is a complete translation so we need to download this to our local PC and slowly and slowly we will translate it to our native language and then upload it back to the server changing the name as we all know uh, for India I uh, first two digit is a small letter language code and the second is capital letter territory code. So now we have downloaded our entire English uh, so why do we download because English is a complete so after download it uh, we will just make a little bit of change and then upload it back to the server. So now the folder in en underscore us is downloaded so now I am going to change this folder uh, directory name as hi underscore in. So I just copied and I, I keep one um, uh, copy as a backup because if anything goes wrong so that I can still uh, survive. So I just copied and create a new folder and I'm going to rename it according to the parameter we set in our INI file. You can see in our INI file we wrote HI as a small underscore IN as a caps. So now we have to rename this folder exactly the name what we have written in our INI file, global setting dot INI file. So now no, first one is for English, second one is for Hindi. So you can see the list of the folder is roughly 25, 26 or can be more. 
so these folder contains all English character you can see although we rename it uh, as hi dot in we expect it to be Hindi but you can see all the files it has in English language so we understand that translation is a bigger task and we have to go slow maybe it will take one week time or can, sometimes it takes even more because we need to translate all the language files so uh, so this is the template so under the template there is a file so every folder contains len dot en underscore us so len uh, every file starts with a text with a character called len l a n g dot then the uh, first two digit is your language code and second is your territory code so and uh, it is divided by underscore so now we have to rename it as hi underscore in again why hi underscore in because we have set up the hi underscore in to our global setting form uh, what we showed in our previous tutorial and in the beginning of this tutorial so accordingly we have to make change all the folders listed here because these are the modules these are the modules you see under article there is a file called len underscore en uh, len dot en underscore us we have to change it and this we have to copy it because every time we need to copy so we just copy it once and then paste it to all modules so under the administration you can see these are the administration modules and we translate all basically in the file we understand that we, it all has English because we have not made any changes or we have not made anything just except we just renaming the file so uh, keeping the data same we just renaming the file so that once user select India and Hindi it will show the correct the, the language it has in build so now uh, in every folder as you can see I am going to rename all the files here so I am navigating to all the I am navigating to all the folders and file and the directories and I am uh, renaming as hi.in so for editors this is the every more folder represent every module so under the flight we are making change means the flight module uh, will render according to the file I set here so now we are making all change we all the folders is getting change and and it has to be in a proper case and proper naming otherwise variable will show no a value of a language will show we have to rename it properly we have to make sure that the file name contains a len dot first a small letter your um, language code and uh, followed by your territory code as in caps so we are navigating all the folders all folders means each folder represent each module so you see in the news represents the news module so I am renaming it and newsletter represents the newsletter modules so every folder is representing every language of a module so now you can see in the mm, uh, payment gateway modules represent this file poll module represents all language comes from this file and portfolio modules all language comes from this file I am going to rename it so now uh, okay let's show a little bit more so now you can see the project and the, uh, all the module from project language represent this file and property directory and review directory we, we have we are going to make change to each and every folder because we want we do not want variable to show because it means nothing and looks ugly so what we do we just copied uh, our English and we just rename it to our um, to our desired language and and after uh, downloading this file we are making change all the files so that value comes from right 
file so now we are navigating each and every folder so theme theme means uh, whatever the theme the language it has it it comes as an Indian language and as a Hindi for tour I am going to rename it this name as H I underscore I N for tracker modules I want all language come from this file when user select Hindi and utility when user click on Hindi I want user to show all language from this file and vacation rentals folder all the language coming from this file and I am renaming it so that when user select Hindi it can show all the text from this file and finally the vote module so I make change so now you can see we have made all the uh, um, file renamed as hi underscore hn so now we are going to upload entire folder under application language so I'm going to entire folder because we have list of the directories and we rename it to our um, uh, according to our convention and I'm going to upload this folder back to the server it means what happened when user select on Hindi system will find the language from this folder from this directory so if since there was no directory the language file did not show and variable shows up so now I upload it as you can see when um, everything get fixed as in English because uh, 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 you or uh, you know that we rename it as English so when we select Hindi it comes English because we have not make anything change in the file so therefore it comes as an English but what is important what I want to show that now English is showing up it means variable is is not available anymore because it gets the correct value what we have uploaded as IN underscore uh, um, uh, what we have uploaded it on in India India folder so uh, once we select it uh, um, as Hindi so as you, as you can see no language is broken because we have uploaded right folder to the right location and system can get the value from the right directory so all the language is showing as a Hindi because we have not make any change uh, on the inside part of this text so we remain it as in English so on our next tutorial I'm going to show you making a little bit translation mostly on the header part and we will show you how the Hindi character will show uh, when we refresh our page so make sure that you don't miss to view our next tutorial what makes your idea more clear about the translation part and on, uh, to our next tutorial we are going to cover how can we add our um, Unicode base language and it will show up to our content so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and it helps and if you have any questions please don't hesitate to write us and we are open to answer any of your inquiries. Thank you very much.